good morning welcome to a new vlog um i'm doing something exciting and very different today i'm gonna put on a little makeup um because i am going to london for the first time since october 3rd which was like six months ago but i'm not gonna go for very long because i'm a little bit nervous as i just haven't been in so long so a smoothie mm -mm -mm. that's delicious um yeah so what i'm doing hang on let me go wet this i am going to check out a bag i have been on the hunt for me on and off for about six seven months now where is my eyebrows ah here it is trusty Anastasia Browers. Um, I have been looking for a good quality and authenticated um, Chanel bag, but not just any Chanel bag, um, a vintage black classic flap and that might not mean anything to anyone but it's one of their original um, designs and it has just kept its value and its sort of style um for like, forever um and they're actually a really good investment but i am i think wanting to keep it for a long time but just in case i don't i need to have a authentication card because otherwise it's quite hard to resell it without it but there is a consignment store in mayfair called luxury promise and they've got a few in their showroom and I think I want to go have a look at them rather than buying them and being unhappy online because I think you can't really return them unless there's a problem like with the stitching or something like that. Um, but it's a black um, classic flap in a medium size, which is about this, this big. It has gold hardware, which is really beautiful and it only on the older... Um, variations and sort of generations of the Chanel classic flap do they have the 24 karat gold hardware on the like the CC and the clasp and also on the um, chain so the reason why I've been looking so long is because I want it from a certain year and it's got to be 90s but I'm really trying to find one from my birth year um, which I think will be really special and also you know it's a good way of purchasing designer items it's a bit more sustainable um not like I wouldn't be tempted to buy from the boutique but they are hella expensive and prices just keep going up and up so that's why I mentioned it's a good investment so it's uh, a more affordable way of uh, of having it so I'm gonna go up and I don't know if if it's even gonna if I'm even gonna have any success and if I don't then I would have driven up but I need to go up and just face my fear of the anxiety I was gonna take the train but I worked out it's actually a tiny bit cheaper and probably a little bit quicker for me to drive and it also means I won't have to take public transport I was kind of figuring out how could I have as little touch points as possible um obviously to be covid safe so if I drive the only place I'll be is the shop and even then I'm sure they'll only have a certain amount of people at a time in the boutique and everything in there so yeah so I'm just gonna do my makeup and get ready and then pop in the car okay makeup is done I've made sure I oh TC's in the garden can you see that TC doing a little sniff so I've made sure that I have put loads of like spray on my face so it doesn't come off um, as I'm going to be walking around and it's really nice and sunny outside and I want to stay on but I also thought I'd do a little cute moment with my eyes because I'm going to have my mask on so at least I thought I'd put a bit of effort on there but I'm just going to show you my little outfit. I have just a really plain black outfit on um, a t-shirt and jeans and my big pinko lovely coat of the moment and my little like, gorgeous slides um I, I haven't really worn these out that much so if they if they um rub i can actually they've got i don't know if you can see that they've got a seam where i can push it down and kind of have the backs out 
So I'm fully prepared. I'm not taking a bag, but on this side is my COVID safe stuff. So I've got my mask, I've got my hand sanitizer, and I have some wipes. And on this side, I've got like my cards and I have my sunglasses and I'll keep my phone and car keys in there as well. So I'm gonna be free handed. Let's go. Okay, I'm here. I have parked at this stunning church. Look how beautiful it is. It's just a just park area. It's like a locked away. Honestly, just park is like the best invention ever. I do need the loo, which is a slight issue. So I'm gonna have to find somewhere to go to the loo. But um, I just fixed my socks. I'm here. I made it. I made about four wrong turns, but that for me is pretty good. Um, but actually, some of the wrong turns I'm quite glad I made because it's just so stunning today in London. And I just love going around like Earl's Court and all the gorgeous like orange brick houses. So yeah, I'm gonna use my phone battery to find Luxury Promise and um, probably film a, f film a few cute bits. I mean, look how stunning this is. Wish me luck. <laughs> myself inside the Dorchester it is absolutely stunning in here I mean these orchids compared to mine are stunning so yeah I better get going because I'm ended up running a bit late but of course I had to go to the Dorchester to go to the loo <laughs> I can see the church from where I am. I've had a very successful morning, sort of afternoon, and I said I wasn't gonna go into Marge, and I went into Marge, and the ladies there were so nice, and there were some bits and pieces on, on the rack that I didn't see online, and so I tried some on, but I did try this one jumpsuit that I've been looking at for ages, and it's gorgeous, and did have to go a size up, but it's okay. And yeah, I am been quite successful. And I'm gonna drive home and uh, get my hair cut. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, that scared me. Oh my God, I am so excited to have my bite of my sandwich. I'm so hungry. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hi everyone, I'm back in my sweats and I've had a nice little haircut and I thought I'd just go through what I got. I can't believe it. I can't believe I own a Chanel classic flap. It's really exciting. Um, I've worked really hard for this and I wanted to find, like I said earlier on, I wanted to find a 
version that was made in the 90s um, and it must have an authentication card and it's a specific size, it's a specific colour um, and I hit the jackpot. So I went to the boutique um, in Mayfair and there was a little queue and there were some girls looking at the Chanel Classic Flaps but they had quite a few of them. I reckon they had about six or seven different sizes uh, but there was a really sweet lady and she was wearing this gorgeous lilac, a Balmain um, fitted blazer. It was absolutely gorgeous. And she said, do you know what you want? I said, yes, I have a very specific ask. I was in and out of the shop in honestly like 20 minutes. I couldn't believe it. But she said, you might be in luck. We have one um, from that sort of period. So um, here it is. I'm just going to go through the other few bits that I got first. <laughs> so I found this really cute little shop just next to store called Sakare. And like, I love the branding. And like, this is so nice. I'd love this on like the end of a curtain or something. And, um, oh, I had some tiny gloss. But this, I tried this scrub. It's absolutely huge. It's so heavy um, on in this store. And honestly... It is so nice. It is absolutely, it's chunky. This is going to last me forever. Um, and it's a body scrub and it just oh, looks divine. So I'm going to use that in the shower. I don't have any body scrubs at the moment. So I thought I'd pick that up and try to treat myself with that. Lovely branding. Look how nice that is. The next thing is I was a bit naughty and I went to Marge. I picked up a really nice jumpsuit. And the lady who served me, she was only working there. She was, it was like her third or fourth day and she was so cute. And I pretty much had the store all to myself, which was amazing. Um, but I could have bought 5,000 things. I think it is possibly one of my favorite shops ever. But um, I'm just gonna open up this package now. Here we are. Look at that, look at those buttons. That is just, that's the M. So pretty. Here we are. So it is a creamy. Oh, focus. Yeah. It is a creamy, like white. It's like a boy suit, actually. It's uh, short sleeves. And um, it's got a really nice, like, turned up detail here. And then the bottom are. And that kind of comes down sort of just below the waist, so that's where you can put a belt through. And the bottoms are flared, which I don't have any of this sort of stuff. Oh, bit of fabric there. Um, you know, as now it's not very popular to be, I'm, you know, to wear skinny jeans. So I've gone for uh, this lovely flare and I'll pop it on maybe later, but at the moment I've got my comfies on and I just, I'm so tired, so I can't be bothered. But yeah, this is just absolutely lovely and I'm obsessed. I just wear it with trainers. I actually went this size up so it could be extra, extra comfy. Um, but yeah, can't wait. And what's good about this outfit is just like a dress. You don't have to worry about matching a top and a bottom. It's all in one. And I'm not a dungarees person. I feel like I did that when I was younger. But this is almost like the more mature option for a dungarees but yeah I absolutely love it treat yourself and now for the final grand unveiling oh my gosh I can't believe it so here we go it didn't come in its like original bag and box but bearing in mind this bag is the same age as me I think I'm gonna forgive them and it's so rare that they had the authentic the authenticity card as well she said like this is really I mean I know she's a salesperson but from my experience and from my research you know over the past six months it's just so hard to get one for a decent price decent quality and for the authenticity card and the queue outside was crazy like it got so big and I reckon if I was half an hour later it would have been sold like all of them would have been sold so here is the little dust bag, which is really, really sweet. Um, oh my god, that's so exciting. So, let me just 
cubes. Three half cubes with one hand. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. It is so beautiful. I'm obsessed. <laughs> so, if anyone cares, if anyone's interested, this is a lambskin leather. This is a 24 karat gold um, hardware, which they don't do anymore. This is a series three. This was um, made, this was manufactured in 1994 and I think it might say hmm I used to oh does it say where it's made no um so this is what it looks like it is a medium size it's a 10 inch it does have some you know um little few scratches but that's what you to find something in pristine condition is impossible and I also love that it's had a story, you know, or here's the, the tag, um, you know, it's got that little back flap there and it's a little bit, you know, not dented, but just pushed in there. But if you get an insert, you can easily sort that out. But to be honest, like for 26 years old, that really, uh, that's an amazing condition. A lot of the times you find this is completely creased in or you know the bottom hasn't been looked after but if I just open this up I've just closed it whoops so it's got that black bit here apparently which is really sweet so this opens and it's only a really small pouch but Chanel designed this zip pack like pocket to store your love letters in which I just think is the sweetest thing and you open it up and there's that classic burgundy cut you know shade that is not bad. I mean, you can see there's obviously some creasing and a little bit of a mark there, but I might send it to one of the leather spas and get it fixed. But to be honest, it looks great. So what you can obviously do is take out the packaging and you can pull through, wait, the, um, let me do this off camera. There you go. I've just pulled it through so then you can have it like a crossbody, like so. Or you can have it like I just had it, or you can have it like that, so on your on your shoulder. So you can kind of see how big it is compared to um <laughs> Hello to me and yeah. I'm so happy. So, j'adore ça. I can't believe I found this. It's like it is the black. It's black. It is um, the size I wanted. It has the authenticity card, and it's from the same year I was born. And I think that is just so special. And what I love is that this bag has had a whole life maybe even a few lives before me and I just absolutely love the aspect of it you know let's keep passing it down the chain who knows I don't know how long I'll keep it for but I'm cannot wait to just enjoy it and use it and then maybe pass it down to you know my kids one day or the way that Chanel is pricing their items maybe even sell it for more than I bought it for but I'm so happy. 